2019, the girls are making their way south from Ackland Islands to Great Inagua Island, which is the furthest place south that we can check out of the Bahamas. Oceans on the ocean are calm, everything's good on Wild Child. We're moving, moving happily 14. Night sailing can be scary, but tonight the conditions are just so calm. I never leave the fishing line trolling out the back overnight because I wouldn't want to have to deal with a fish in the dark. I am down below cooking dinner while Elena is at the helm. Don't worry, you're invisible, nobody can see you. So Elena's at the whole, at the helm right now. It's after dinner and we're night sailing. It's pretty dark out. Lexi's gonna go down below to take a little nap. Or not down below, I guess I'm gonna sit in the cockpit and take a nap. While Elena maintains the helm and controls the boat in the dark. She's sort of taking first watch and then we're gonna begin switching off as the night goes. Here's to hoping we stay safe, huh people? Do you have the courage to sail in total darkness like this? To be in the middle of the ocean on a 40 foot sailboat, sailing absolutely blind into the unknown? We don't usually keep the lower navigation lights on because they only blind us. We sail with a tricolor light at the top of the mast, and if we suspect there's any vessels nearby, then we turn on the lower nav lights. So report the helm. Point eight, sixteen. 16 though, wow, eh? While night sailing, there really is nothing to see. Man of War Bay. 30 kilometers at three knots is 10 hours. That's perfect, actually. Hmm, so what is it? It's 20 to 11, sunrise will be around six. So we have to stay out here for at least seven and a half hours. We gotta do 30 kilometers at three and a half knots. Actually kind of works out nicely. So if we can keep Wild Child going slow, I think we're okay. So Elena just woke me up from a nap. I was down below, I actually got a rest and like time off the helm. So I'm a little tired, but actually I feel okay. We're gonna take turns shifting off throughout the night. Right now she's got the spreader lights and the nav lights on. We're gonna turn off the floodlights. Um, you know, we were going too fast before. The wind forecast at seven and now we've got 16, but we got Wild Child slowed down enough with 30 miles left to go and we have to, we have to take at least eight hours to do it. I think at three and a half, we're doing three and a half knots now. As long as the sea state doesn't build into nasty waves and this doesn't get poundy by morning, I think basically we're okay. Oh, that can't be good. Hey guys, so it's like one o'clock in the morning. I just woke up Elena to come take a shift. I'm tired, I can't keep my eyes open. I don't feel good. So I just did uh, 11 till one, or 10, 10.30 till one, it's two and a half hours. I woke her up downstairs. She's gonna come up to relieve me soon. She probably won't film anything because she doesn't like to be filmed. 
and she's probably not going to volunteer to film anything. Conditions are really calm out here. The wind's down 11, 12 knots. Wild child's moving like 2.6, 23 miles to go in the dark, but we have to survive at least five more hours till sunrise. So we just got to keep wild child going slow and steady through the night. It's not that way. It's, I mean, the nice thing when you're open ocean sailing is there's nothing around. Like there's, you know, there's a big cargo ship, there's no small vessels, you know, you turn on the radar every so often to kind of have a look around for any small vessels like you. AIS shows you the big stuff. There's nothing here. Oh, hi, welcome to the helm. Hi. Are you okay? Like you just woke up and you're wide awake and you're fine? Yeah. Or are you like dopey or do you need me to sit with you for a while? Oh. So I've been keeping an eye on the AIS on this vessel here, Rhea Leader, 656 foot cargo vessel moving at 17 knots, headed for Panama. The CPA for us is 7 miles, 6 or 7 miles. He should cross well in front of us. We're actually not that far from Manamore Bay where we want to anchor. We're 23 miles, but you can see from the speed on Wild Child, we're keeping her slow. The ocean conditions are very calm, the winds are light, and we're keeping her slow. We don't want to, you know, we really don't want to close in on Man of War Bay before sunrise. I can't really steer, so... You know what, maybe I'm going to help you right now. Let's pull some Jenny, just a bit, like 30% Jenny, just to keep the speed up and moving a bit. Yeah. Yeah, before I go lay down, I'll help you. Let's pull 30% Jenny, not a lot, just get us over two knots again. Yeah, let's do that. All right, we're going to pull some Jenny, guys. I'm tired, she's tired, we're okay. It's a bit rolly here in the ocean, but it's relatively calm. Nine knots of wind, half, half meter waves, all good. So we just pulled out about 40% Jenny. I don't know if you can see it there. Let me try and zoom in and show you. So we still have the storm sail out. Now we have about 40% Jenny pulled. The starboard car is way forward, which is good. It's brought our speed up. We're now nine over. Well, we were three and a half. So we are currently 9.9 .9 over 2.6. 2.7 wind angle, 75, 60. Oh, you know what? Tighten it a bit. The wind, yeah. I think we need to tighten that Jenny a little more. Well, it's, oh, I can't even talk. It's 4 a.m. Elena just woke me up to do my shift. She says we're 15 miles from Great Inagua. What's, can you report the helm, please? Nine over 2.5. Nine over 2.5, 15 miles to go, 4 a.m. Sun rises until at least six o'clock or earlier. So I think, All is pretty quiet and calm here in the darkness. We are okay. 8 over 2.5. Wind angle in the 50s. So 10 miles to go to at least two more hours. All right, for those of you at home and awake, do the math for me. Tell me what speed I want to go to. So, 13 miles to go, two hours to do it in. Eight knots of wind, wind angle 50 degrees. What do we do? Uh, uh. So, I don't know. Let's say we want to get up to around four or five knots. Wind angle's tight. 
tighten our wind idles tires, so we should probably tighten the sails, I think. So let's make the sails we have more efficient, and then we'll see about adding the sail. Let's get up to about four knots, probably is the right thing to do. As the sun is slowly rising over the horizon, it finds the two girls at the helm together for mutual support. I feel like a bag of crap. Helen is doing really well. I'm not doing well. Wild Child's moving along at 8 over 2.4, wind angle between 45 and 50 degrees, and very light seas. And the sun's slowly coming up over the horizon. We're about 8 miles from our destination, so we've timed it out rather well. We're going to pick up our speed soon, so in 10 or 15 more minutes we're going, to, we're going to increase our sail area, maximize our efficiency and get Wild Child hammer on. We want to get the anchor down and go to bed, we're tired. Good morning planet Earth! Night sailing wears me down. I'm tired but I'm so excited to greet the day. While the rest of you go about your lives, I'm always on a boat. I'm sailing hundreds and thousands of hours just stuck behind the helm. This is where I sing and dance and play and watch TV, and this is where I live my life. Good morning, beautiful sunrise. Take a tired captain in the morning, add sugar, and dance music, and sunrise. Oh, we are, let's see, 9.7 over 4 at 51 degree wind angle. Dance into the tunes, we got the fishing rod out because we still need a mahi mahi. Well, I don't know if you guys can see that on the camera, but we found land. We are four and a half miles from our destination off Matthewtown in Great Inagua. It's about 7.30 in the morning and Wild Child sailing along nicely in very calm conditions. Well, this is Lexi's bad. I'm at the helm. We're about three miles from getting into where we want to go at Great Inagua. And this sailboat slipped right past us under full sail, and I didn't see it. I'm really glad he saw us because he was hidden behind my Jenny. Like he was coming right nose on, hidden behind my Jenny. I didn't even see him until he was behind us. That's not good. So, Wild Child just finished dropping the hook in Matthew Town. Um, where are we? Great Inagua. Seems to be a little harbor here. Uh, looks like maybe somebody's doing something with a sail. Oh, where is it? 